Now, your weather alert forecast. Good evening, I'm 3 News Now. Chief Meteorologist Jennifer Zeppelin with this latest weather update for 3newsnow.com. It's turned out to be just a fantastic start to the work week. A lot of sunshine around low relative humidity down to about 30% and a light south to southwesterly wind blowing in across the area. So overall comfortable evening. Hopefully we've got some outdoor plans. Temperatures will fall from the 80s into the 70s as we head into the evening hours. And then there will be a weak system passing through during the overnight hours early in the morning before 5 a.m. We could see a few scattered showers around starting off in the low 60s. We'll see skies clearing out for most of the day. It looks dry for us, but then there will be another round of storms developing late in the afternoon and evening, mainly to the south of us. We'll manage to make it to about 87 for the afternoon high, so a significant warm up coming our way on Tuesday, but certainly the storm chances will kind of hug between southeastern Nebraska, and northwestern Missouri. So again, we're looking at Nebraska City, Clorinda Falls City. It really starts to bubble up here after about seven, eight o'clock in the evening when most of the activity should become significant, maybe even severe. There is a slight risk for severe storms in that area. So we're talking about gusty winds, heavy rainfall and the potential for some large hail if those storms do hold together and become severe. Now, as far as the extended forecast goes, the heat will definitely build, but we do keep a slight chance for a shower storm in the forecast. Tomorrow evening stuff, as I mentioned, mainly down to the south of us, 87 degrees, 88 on Wednesday. Some overnight storms once again, so most of Wednesday looks dry for us. Thursday, we could see some scattered activity from time to time, morning and late in the afternoon and evening, 90 degrees for the afternoon high. Then we really start drying it out, and that's when the temperatures definitely start to jump. We'll see a stretch of 90s, the warmest we've seen so far this year.